Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about multicolor integration and important sampling. So first of all, let's take a look at this uh, question here where we want to calculate the integral of a function over the interval from A to B. Let's say uh, it is very difficult to calculate this integral or there's no analytic uh, mathematical solution for this integral so that we can use a multicolor method where we draw random sample to estimate the solution of this integral. So now we are going to manipulate this equation and then um, and then uh, we're and then use the random sample to estimate the integral of this uh, over here. Okay. So uh, first of all, let's multiply one uh, over b minus a on both sides, and then we plug it in. Uh, we move uh, the fraction into the integral, and then um, and then we also uh, remove. The, um, the denominator on to the right hand side so that the integral can be rewritten in this form and um, uh, the expectation for the continuous uh, distribution is uh, from here so the expectation of uh, x is just uh, integral x multiplied by f of x and then the, uh, the expectation of a function of a variable is just uh, integrate uh, f of x multiplied by f of x so that uh, because of this we can rewrite the integral here into the into the form of the expectation so here um, that the x is draw from the uniform distribution and and then this manipulation is come from uh, the definition of the expectation of a, of a random variables here okay so uh, feel free to pause the video and then uh, to 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 uh, go to see if you can understand or um, or or you can de uh, or also derive by hand to see if you understand the um, the, um, the 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 logic here. So uh, in terms of multicolor integration, the algorithm is like this. So first of all, let's generate uh, an random sample from uh, from random uniform distribution here, and then we plug it in each value from uh, of the random sample into into the function h, and then we calculate uh, h of x. And then we calculate the expectation value, which is uh, 1 over n multiplied uh, by the sum of all the values that we calculate here. And then we use the, uh, the formula we derive here to, cal to estimate the, um, the integral of the function here. Okay. So now let's take a look at the example. So here, let's say we have this function, and then we want to calculate the integral of this function over the interval from 0 to 1. So here is the exact value for the integral that we, we are uh, we inter we are interested so now let's say let's say we don't know how to calculate the integral of this function so now we're going to use a multicolor method where we draw a random sample and then to estimate the function here okay. so let's say we want uh, we draw um, a million random sample from the uniform distribution over the inter interval from 0 to 1 which is our target um, which is our um, the interval for uh, for our um, function here and now we are using uh, the formula here uh, using 1 minus 0 which is um, b minus a here multiplied by the expectation of h of x in our case it's just the mean of h of x okay so now we can see that our estimation is very close to the to the to the actual value here so um, this is uh, a, a, a special case where we can uh, we are interested in the interval from zero to one, so that we can use the uniform distribution from uh, zero to one. And now let's move, let's extend our, our um, the multicolor integration to a more general cases. So uh, where uh, um, our uh, x is not drawn from the uniform distribution we can use uh, any uh, uh, distribution here and also um, uh, we we don't uh, we don't um, also we don't limit our uh, the interval of the integral from uh, from a finite value let's say 0 to 1 we can also extend to like negative infinity to let's say to 1 okay so now let's take a look at this question here we want to integrate uh, a function here over an integral from negative infinity to one, so now that we cannot draw, we cannot use a random random uh, uniform distribution, so we need to use some other distribution, and that so that we can cover from the negative infinity to up to uh, 
to 1 in our examples here. So, uh, so one. Um, so now let's think about which uh, which um, distribution, which f of x we can use to cover from uh, from this domain here. So, or uh, how can we organize or, or manipulate the uh, the formula here, uh, i here, to express in terms of h of x multiplied by f of x, where x is is uh, is uh, is random sample that we draw from uh, f of x here. So uh, in this example, we are going to use a random uh, uniform distribution, standard normal distribution. So our f of x is r norm from uh, mean with mean zero and standard deviation of one, and then we are going to use h of x as uh, in, uh, as indication function. So uh, this. Um, Function means that if a uh, if a number z is less than less or equal to x, we which is equal to one. If it is uh, greater than x, then we 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 um we assign uh we assign the value to zero. So now we can rewrite our integral this our original uh question into uh, this form here. So integrate um from from uh infinity to x up to x and then um, indication function so this is our h of x here h of x multiplied by f of x which is our target um, our target uh, integral so um, so this is integrate uh, uh, f uh, um, h of x dx and um, we are going to rewrite this into the form of uh, in, in the form of uh, h of x multiplied by f of x so um, so so that um, the formula becomes integrate from negative infinity up to x and then uh, indication function here uh, multiply h of x multiplied by f of x but we are not done yet we also have the other part which is from x to uh, positive uh, infinity and then h of x multiplied by f of x but uh, since this part will become zero as uh, we as how we define as the indication function so this entire term becomes zero so but um, but uh, this, but we use um, the normal distribution in order to cover the entire um, uh, from the negative infinity to positive infinity. But uh, this part becomes zero because of the indication function. So that this entire formula here is still equal to the value of the function that we are interested in, which is the integral from uh, negative infinity up to up to uh, x. In, in our case, it's x equal to 1. Okay. So um, here, in, to rewrite this uh, function into the expectation form, so we draw a random sample from uh, our uniform distribution uh, with mean 0 and 1. And then we plug it into uh, h of x here. But uh, mm, maybe I should just rewrite this as h. And then h. Okay. So um, this is the precise value for our integral here, from infinity, negative infinity to up to one, and then the integral of this function is equal to zero point eight four. And now we are going to draw a random sample from a normal distribution, and then we are going to use, uh, and then we manipulate the integral into uh, h of x multiplied by f of x, and then um, with the help of the indication function and the Monte Carlo integration, and then this is our estimation of the of the of the of the integral here. So, um, um, so. Um, so let's so there's um, no closed form solution for the integral of the of the of the normal distribution, 
but uh, we can draw random sample just only from the um, normal distribution and then with this simple um, uh, algorithm here um, we can estimate the precise not not precise but we can approximate the value of the of a integral which is very hard to calculate by hand and then you can see that our solution is already very close to the to the actual value here so this is the idea of the rand, of the Monte Carlo integration where we use our random sample to to uh, to estimate uh, the uh, uh, the solution of uh, integral here and um, and also with the idea of the expectation here so we always think about uh, how we can rewrite our integral into the form of uh, f of x multiplied by h of x and then we can use the form uh, expectation to uh, to further um, to, to approximate the actual value of the integral here. Okay. So now we cover the Monte Carlo integration using a uh, um, uniform distribution and also a general more generalized cases where we draw from uh, x of uh, x from uh, any uh, um, distribution here. So now I'm going to talk about uh, important sampling. So let's say it is uh, so uh, even in this case where it is very difficult to um, let's say it is very difficult to, to draw a sample from f of x even if we can write the integral in terms in, in the form of f of x uh, h of x multiplied by f of x but let's say f of x is we, we are still cannot directly draw a sample from f of x now we can use uh, the method called important samplings um, to um, to again to uh, to estimate the, the the integral. So the idea is that um, um, again from uh, from from above we we can write the um, the integral in terms of uh, e sub f and then uh, the expectation of f uh, h of x where x is a random sample from the distribution f. But now we can rewrite this as uh, integrate um, h of x multiplied by the fraction, uh, which is uh, f of x over g of x, and then multiply by g of x. So uh, basically, what we did is that uh, we multiply uh, f of x multiplied by h of x by uh, multiplied by one. But uh, we separate the one into uh, g of x over g of x, and then we bring the denominator into this function here, so that our um, our expectation, where uh, expectation of f of x, where x is random sample from distribution f, now we rewrite this as um, expectation of this entire function here, where the x is a random sample that we draw from g of x, so. Um, Basically, we just rewrite this and then to and then convert. Uh, we are still calculating the expectation of a, of a function of a random variables, but we just change our variables that draw from f of, from distribution f, change it to we draw the random sample from uh, from a distribution g, and then we just rewrite the function. In the print, in the expectation, into into uh, into into something else, and in our case, it's h of x multiplied by f of x divided by g of x. So uh, feel free to pause the video and then to see if you can understand um, from uh, where we get from the integral to expectation, and also where we get uh, uh, from uniform distribution to any to any. Um, generalized distribution and and then we include uh, we multiply by one and then we which is our g of x over g of x and then we rewrite um, the, the the expectation into into another form and then we basically just uh, uh, rewrite uh, redo the sample uh, sampling uh, from uh, draw the sample from distribution f into uh, drawing drawing the uh, random sample from distribution g. Okay. So there's one requirement is that the g the domain of the g must also cover the domain of f. So um, 
the intuition here is that you can think of uh, um, this part here as a weight here. So um, let's see. Okay. So let's see. We have a uh, we have a graph here. So basically, is that um, we are using. So let's say the g of x is this red red line here, and then our target distribution h of x is this uh, black line here. So basically, we are using a fraction. So for example, in here, we are uh, drawing two um, a few. Um, because of we are drawing the random sample from this uh, red line here, which is the normal, uh, well, drawing the random sample from this red line here, and but our actual distribution is this h of x. So we can see that we draw too little, too uh, only a few example that which is needed. Uh, so so that we multiply by this uh, f of x multiplied by g of x. So the red line is g of x, the red line, the black line is f of x. So the fraction here, f of x divided by g of x is greater than 1. So basically we are just going, we are just, we are just uh, assigning more weight. So over here, f of x over g of x is greater than 1. So we are basically assigning more weight to the value that we draw from, uh, from the g of x here. So more um, higher weight. To the, to the to the sample that we draw here, and let's take a look uh, here outside the where um, where uh, g of x is greater than f of x. So in this case, our f of x this fraction here is less than one. So if we draw a sample that fall into this region, so uh, and and that that means uh, we draw more sample uh, from g of x than than f of x than h of x where where more sample that we actually needed. So that f of x over g of x in this part is less than 1. So that means we get uh, we, we, we assign a, a small weight onto the onto the onto the uh, sample that we need. So over here we draw too much sample so we we, we, we reduce the weight of the sample here. Uh, sorry we increase the weight where f of x over g of x is greater than 1. So we, as we assign more weight on the on the sample that we draw here, and here f of, f of x uh, g of x is greater than um, our uh, target distribution. So we so we use uh, this fraction here. So then we as assign a small weight onto the onto the uh, sample that we draw on here. So basically, that's the that's the idea. Um, um, well, I hope um, that's just the idea. Uh, uh, a way, one way to uh, to think about it, or to understand the the, the weight or the fraction here, but uh, from the from the from the um, uh, manipulation of the of the function, or or uh, um, or, or rewrite uh, the expectation, we can get uh, the same from. But in order to understand, you can think of it as the as assigning different weight. Uh, onto onto the different random sample we draw, okay. So and then we convert it from uh, drawing random sample from distribution f into drawing random sample into from the distribution of g. So uh, now let's say we want to calculate the integral of uh, this integral here. So uh, integral from zero to ten of this function here, okay. So uh, this is the function f, and then now let's get the exact, uh, the actual value for uh, the integral here, from 0 to 10 uh, of function f. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's, um, using the, our, uh, using our uh, uniform cases here, uh, where, um, where we draw a, uh, x uh, variable uh, uh, random sample from uniform distribution over 0 to 10 and then we use the formula here b minus a multiplied by the expectation of uh, f of h of x so uh, that is uh, 
um, 10 minus 0, which is uh, b minus um, b, mi uh, b minus a multiplied by uh, f of x. So here we haven't uh, we haven't taken the, the the expectation yet. So um, and now we can see that this is our uh, the the our uh, approximate uh, solution to the integral here. And then we can see that this is very close to the uh, to the uh, to our to the actual value. And now let's take a look the same uh, calculation. We are trying to estimate the same integral by using the, the important sampling method here. Okay. So basically, we are not drawing the sample x from uh, distribution f, but we are drawing the sample x from the distribution g, where um, we draw um, g from a normal distribution with mean uh, 5 and standard deviation 1. And then, and then the h of x become ten multiplied by the by the uh, by the by the by uh, the fu the function we are interested in, and also f of x is one over ten. So basically, if you multiply this, um, you will still get the same thing as uh, as the. Um, um, so basically, what we did is that we intentionally designed uh, g of x, h of x, uh, f of x, and then uh, we draw the random sample x from g, so that uh, to to satisfy this formula here, and then this formula is is also uh, another way to calculate the integral that we are interested in. So always think about how you can rewrite the integral into into different uh, combination of the function. And, and also so that you can draw a random sample from from uh, from g of x or from f of x to estimate the your or your target um, your your uh, your your question or in our case is uh, the integral okay so our x is not no longer from the uniform distribution but it's from the random normal with mean uh, five and standard deviation one and now our uh, uh, our um, function here is no longer f of x, which is uh, from this uh, uniform cases, but from this important sampling cases. So uh, we need to calculate. We need to uh, plug in the value of uh, each random sample into h of x, which is uh, we, which we rewrite to here, multiply by f of x, which is uh, one over ten. And then we also need to divide it by uh, g of x. So now we are going to plug in the value of x into the, uh, into this uh, into our into our uh, function that we rewrite uh, over here. So so again, uh, x is drawn from uh, another uh, distribution g, and so that we we need to plug in the value into into this formula here. So if we draw uh, our random sample from f. Then we can we can um, we can plug into f to directly to h of x, but now we draw the random sample from another distribution, so that we need to plug it in into 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 another um, into into this uh, function here. So make sure you understand uh, uh, the derivative not uh, the derivation from integral to expectation, and then. Uh, and then, and then, uh, where we use a specific uh, distribution to draw random sample, and also we we rewrite the expectation into some other form. So make sure you understand all this uh, the mathematics behind uh, this uh, this Monte Carlo integration, and so that you you will understand how uh, why you can you can uh, using different method and different distribution to calculate to evaluate the same uh, integral. Uh, of um, just uh, to to approximate the solution. Okay. So now we draw x from another distribution and then plug it in into this formula here, and then we can see that our our uh, into our uh, uh, approximation is also it, again is still very close uh, to our uh, to the actual value here. But uh, so no matter um, no matter uh, which method you use, you can see that. Um, the, the the answer we get is still approximate to 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 what we want or our target um, our target uh, solution uh, 
to, to our target uh, integral here. But one thing I want to point it out is that uh, I also calculate the variance here. So you can see that if I draw, so actually this graph is actually the the the, the fun, or the function that we are, we used in this case here. So this black line is actually the integrate. The, the integral that we are interested in. And then uh, this blue line here is the uniform distribution from 0 to 10. And then this uh, red line here is the normal distribution center at, uh, at, uh, at 5 and then with standard deviation 1. So here we, uh, we use um, um, uniform distribution to estimate this, in, uh, this integral here. Or we, and, and we also use the normal distribution to estimate this integral here. But you can see, although they all give you, they all give this um, a very, um, very, uh, very accurate um, solution to the integral here. But we can see that the variance are uh, way less when we use the important sampling. So it is about uh, one tenth of the variance here. So uh, from this graph, we can we can intuitively understand. Uh, you can see that since if we are drawing from uh, random uniform distribution, lots of sample sampling fall into, they are like a uniformly uh, fall into um, the interval from 0 to 10. So we have lots of sample from this part and this part, but, uh, the, but the, the sample in this region didn't, they, they, they don't contribute much uh, to what we actually need. So lots of the value here, they, they all converted to to um to very close to zero, so we draw uh, x from uh, zero to ten, and then let's say we draw this value here, and then we plug it in into the function f of x, and but the value return is actually zero, so we get lots of zero. So even if we draw lots of sample from here, but we still get uh but the but when we calculate the expectation, they they are still uh they are still just zero. So we are just basically let, let's say we have. Uh, 10, so 10 zeros and then divided by 10, we still get zero. So they didn't contribute much into, into, the, into, into our calculation of the expectation. However, when we use the, the random uniform distribution here, so we can see that uh, when we draw that, uh, variables uh, sample from, uh, from this part, from the tails, uh, we still get, uh, they, they are, we don't get much uh, sample from uh, from this part because uh, they are also very um, they are also very close to zero, but we draw more. Uh, but because of our tar our uh, proposed distribution, we draw more sample in the center region where it's associated with our target distribution. So we draw more sample here. So that means uh, we have more uh, precise value, or uh, we we have more sample at the region that we actually needed. So when we calculate the expectation, more value, so these sample contribute more, or they have more meaningful um, 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 uh, contribution to our, to our approximation of the integral here. So, uh, and then uh, again, uh, we, and then we also have this um, weight here. So we assign more weight over here and the less weight over uh, over here, so that uh, so then that that makes our uh, our um, uh, random sample uh, more uh, meaningful, or uh, we use uh, more random oh, we use uh, our um, random sample more efficient more efficiently than uh, than we just directly from the uniform distribution. So lots of the value here that we draw from here becomes turn into uh, zero. So that's why we have a uh, more variance here for, than drawing the random sample from random uniform distribution comparing to uh, to the uh, random normal distribution. So that means uh, we are so that means our computation is more efficient comparing to uh, to drawing the the from a random uniform distribution. So uh, as you can see, that the important sampling also return um, the correct uh, um, well, a better uh, solution uh, for our uh, actual integral but it also uh, it becomes more efficient so that uh, that is the last uh, so that uh, that is why it is uh, the variance is uh, smaller so when we want to when we have a more uh, or let's say we have a very complicated integral that we want to calculate and then we need we for sure we want, we need to draw a random sample 
to, to estimate the solution. Uh, there are lots of ways you can do that, but uh, there, are, there are some better ways where we can reduce the variance or to make our uh, computation more efficiently in order to estimate the integral. So, uh, so, uh, um, this, uh, so these are the uh, methods these are the inter uh, Monte Carlo integration and the important sampling um, uh, calculation. So I hope you have a better understand and then feel free to uh, pause the video to derive uh, from the integral to expectation and then also from drawing random sample from, uh, from distribution F or from distribution G to understand the, the, the Monte Carlo integration and the important sampling. So um, thank you very much for watching and uh, let me know if you have uh, any question in the, in the comment. So um, thank you very much.